welcome to this let's play Stellaris with Lama. Today we're going to be playing uh, Stellaris, we're going to be playing a, a race I created a few days back, uh, but I'm going to edit it a bit. Uh, we're going to play the industrial systems, because I, I like a lot of gameplay there where you, you know have a good solid economic base. Um, and you know, I think ants and antish kind of things uh, work well for that, so um, yeah, we're going to be Afropods. Uh, yeah, a little hint to our Communist Brothers uh, back in uh, Yugoslavia, let's play the Soviet uh, and very industrial, very, uh, you know, kind of bleak. Uh, we're going to change that a bit. Uh, I don't really care about the names, to be honest. Um, in terms of traits, I, I like having industrials because that plus 15 minerals is amazing. And plus 15 food is really, really great because I like to have booming pop really quickly. Repugnant, I mean, we're bugs, so yeah. And uh, slow learners, yeah, I mean, we're collectivist animals, so I guess we don't really learn much. Um, although certain ants are really, really smart in the hive kind of structure, but you know what, we need to balance stuff out. Um, in terms of mods for the game, uh, sorry, I should have mentioned this before, in terms of mods for the game, uh, it's mainly um, UI overhaul mods, 1080p mods, and so on. Uh, no gameplay mods, as far as I remember. Uh, our ruler, uh, what colour can he be? Make it orange. Or yellow. Yeah, let's stick with yellow. And, uh, let's, let's look like, yes. Um, yes, this. Oh, we. Fuck should have a hairstyle. I mean, we're hairy. Uh, let's call it a name. Call it Tito. Our brother Tito. Uh, an executive. Um, I don't know. Great leader. Um, yeah, let's, let's just go, and, um, I don't know, yeah, let's make it a female leader, it's proper ants, the queen is in charge, uh, no, oops, female, there we go, female, and, uh, great leader, no, good, leaderess, is that a thing? I think it's the title works for both, so we're gonna go great leader. Um, we're gonna change the the um, Tundra world, and the reason is because, and, and I think this is a balance problem of the game, is continental, tropical, and ocean worlds can get bonuses that are really, really effective. Um, I think tropical gets a lush benefit, and it gives you like plus 25 food production, or something insane like that. While the like other ones, Tundra and Arid world, they they get like Modifiers like bleak, minus 10% food production. Is that why would I choose that as a homeworld? And it, and it affects you, even though it's your homeworld, it's it, it, your, your, um, your main type of planet, it does affect you. So I don't see uh, why. Uh, homeworld will be, uh, I think, no, this would be the hive, and this would be the supreme, supreme Soviet, you know, the source of all industry stuff. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go for the tropical preference because. Um, yeah, why not? Um, yeah, let's... Afro City. Um, so the traits have changed a lot, and I particularly like the Fanatic Pacifics, because the trust will growth is really nice. Uh, I don't intend to go to war very much, but... Uh, what is it? Really? It is a decent modifier. The trust growth is quite nice, especially um, since we're going to be playing a spiral galaxy and we might be constrained uh, with our borders. Um, but maybe we should go for something else. Um, I was considering fanatic individualists because you get that plus 15 energy credits. Um, but I also like to have the plutocratic oligarchy, and for that you need either fanatic collectivists or um, you can't have this. You can't. Essentially, you can't have that. So we could go fanatic collectivist and have minus fifteen percent for consumption. Oh, can. Oh crap. That's weird. Wait. What can I? So can I just have one tray? It's just silly. Um. What if we go fanatic? the other one doesn't. But 
I feel we should be collectivist. Um, less food consumption. We already have an energy credit here, boost here. Uh, yeah, spiritualist. I mean, all hail the queen. Uh, we're gonna be the industrial systems, because, yeah, the industrialists. Uh, let's call this ourselves the Soviet industrialists. Uh, I've got the color mods, because, you know, I like colors. And I like, should we just play black? Yeah. And uh, I think this is a good representation of, uh, you know, um, how do you call these in English? Uh, uh, gears? So, you know, industrial gears, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not, but we'll go for it. Yeah, I don't know why it's on the pirate, but hey, you know, um, there's nothing that's industrial kind of looking. Perhaps Paradox or somebody should make a mod for it. Maybe there is. Um, I never really know which one to start. I like energy weapons. Um, there is a counter though. Projectile weapons, I'm not sure. Missile weapons are just a disaster. Well, they've buffed, they've nerfed point defense, but I still don't like missile weapons. Uh, and I just... Wormhole is too complex. Uh, warp trouble I like. Hyperspace is very easy to just get blocked off. Um, and some people really like it because of the strategy, but I don't. So, no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I like the avian, look of the avian ship. So, this is our industrial systems race. So we'll play in a black um, colors. I'm going to say that. Yes, uh, so I'm editing a different one, uh, which I created a few days back before one of the latest patches or whatnot. And uh, we're going to play in a huge galaxy. And I want maximum AI empires and 8 advanced. Um, that should be more than enough. Um, what else? AI aggressiveness? Yeah, it's fine. Let's just keep it normal. Um, so I, haven't, I haven't played Stellaris in for a while, so I'm happy to keep it, leave it that. Difficulty normal as well. I love any, yeah, an Iron Man mode off because um, of the reasons. Because <laughs> uh, I, I will probably have to save or whatnot at one point uh, when I leave. Alright, let's go and uh, start a new game or pretty much create the galaxy. Ooh, industrial systems. Yeah, plutocratic olig oligarchy. Um, we are communist oligarchs because that makes sense. But oh well, this is a game. Uh, yep, so in the end, since the first part of Soviet communities took shape in the dense jungles of Hive, our civilization has spread and prospered. As scientific knowledge increased and new outputs were founded across the world, trade flourished and tied the various nation states together until it became a single entity, glorious to the Hive. Power rested in with the merchant princes, the true architects of our achievement as civilization. Yes, but we are kind of collectivized. Um, Let's get... Yes. Uh, obviously. And... Uh, I... I... I am always... Yeah, I am process. Uh, we want to get colonies out pretty decently quickly, so we're going to rush that um, by spending uh, society meetings. Yes, it's society one, right? Yeah. Society. Uh, so it's reduced it by 20 months, which is pretty decent because we want to get other colonies. Um, and the reason for that is because our strategy is going to be to. Oh crap, I forgot to select elliptical. Oh well. So we're close to the center of the galaxy, um, which I'm not too happy about. These alien vessels here, um, which is good to know. Um, we're going to appear this way. Um, but I'm not very happy to appear sensitive. I like it when you play close to the edge and you can kind of form your own space and don't have to worry about one border. I mean, here, yeah, fine, we're close to this one, but um, I don't know. I just have a preference for the outside. Um, and strangely enough, we haven't started as a blank color, but just kind of this orangey stuff. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um, so, first things first, let's split our fleet, and what I'd like to do is. I just like to explore a bit and um, tell you to go this way, this way, that way, a bit of everywhere. I mean, it is likely that this little buddy here will die, um, just because that's just the nature of space travel. It's, 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 you know, it's dangerous out there. Grab a sword, 
except that there's no old grand dude who will give his sword, master sword. Um, here we just have a shitty ship. Yeah, shitty ship number one. Can we name it that? Uh, shitty ship. I mean, don't don't get discouraged. We just um, and this these guys, I want you to have a bit more closer look and uh, hopefully get a bit of stuff going around. You know, around here. I know no, it's not perfect, but anyway. Um, you will start researching service systems, starting by that. It's really nice that now you got a buff in minerals. I think you didn't have that before. So we can start building some stuff in our surface. Um, let's start with one of these. Uh, uh, you find that now. I'm happy to take the car in. Yes, that's fine. We'll generate tons of minerals, I hope. There's tons of planets in our starting system. That's one of the cool things about the game, and a lot of people don't like it, is the randomness of the starting system. Uh, I had systems in which literally I started with two minerals and three credits, energy credits, and that was it. And sometimes I started with 12 minerals and 10 energy credits within my first initial three planets, right? So you got, here we've got, um, this one, T, T Vilkate, and um, with them. Uh, those are two main founders, one of them has aliens per head. So let's start, let's go to um, fast speed. Oh, uh, yes, uh, this is the um, four inch station, so I do have that as a mod. I uh, destroyed them because I, I don't want to have those around. And uh, yeah, look at that. Our glorious empire starts, and look at that, we've got our first mineral, so you may build some that, build some of that stuff, get going. So we've got two minerals going, which is pretty decent, um, we're getting some exploration, just gonna get some stuff. We're close to the Gamma's Veil, um... Situation log updated. Wow, okay, we need to lower the volume. I should be fine. Um, not yet. I don't want to investigate yet. Um, tropical world. Just like ours. Look at that. Errol. Uh, is Grumman this one? Uh, we got another one here. Tropical world. Uh, this is nice because it's a 21 field planet. There's a good, nice first expansion. Uh, and the other nice thing is there's quite a few planets around it. Uh, will help us out, and we got another one here, Tropical World 16, so very decent, two potential colonies, um, I think they're fairly easy to defend, I'm quite happy with this start. I'm Situation log updated. Jesus. Situation log updated. Okay, okay, hang on here. Um, I like the map, yeah, this is that, I'm gonna lower that, increase the music volume. I quite like what Paradox has done here with the volume. It's really nice. Uh, sorry for all this. I mean, it's really nice what they've done. Uh, the game really immerses me with that little kind of weird music in the background. Um, and whenever we play multiplayer with some of my mates, we like it's just I play for hours and hours and hours. So that's really nice. Um, quite a lot of enemies around here. I don't, I don't like that because. I mean, we're not pacifists, but um, I, I don't intend to go very militaristic very quickly. It's a shame. Um, there you go, this is another one. It's in an outer space, outer space, so we've expanded here. Quite a lot of planets with an outer space. So it's good, good. These are our potential expansions. Hopefully, we don't encounter. Oh, what's that? What are you doing there? What are you doing there, buddy? Get out. This is my space. Um, one thing that's new, situation log much better in terms of food. Uh, a, a new thing from the game is uh, now you can actually access other people's Anomaly spaces. Anomaly found. Oh, yeah, let's, let's move. High failure risk. Do we want to do that? It's the port. Uh, no, the port carries over to rank. Do them. Chinese name there. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, leave me for now, buddy. Um, I, I need you to get me resources going. And we're building some crap here. And this is a nice thing like, we're building 1.9 a month. And we're getting a plus 20, but the minus 15 modifier is amazing. 
and the food generation growth plus 15 percent is just great we 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 create a lot of really quickly and sometimes when you have bad starts like for example our home system we haven't explored much of it yet but it seems to not have that many um planets uh with uh, stuff going on so all these are barren that's situation updated um so it's really nice to have a you know big population that can quickly move out and grow um to kind of balance out about start in our home system and also when you have loads of planets going um it becomes really nice to to kind of just depend on your own planet and when you're at war uh, kind of be able to just say oh yeah i lose a mining station here and there it doesn't matter too much okay so we found some aliens to the north um it's all right it's um i think they'll make some good vassals oh look at that is that a neutron star can't tell yet but i think it's an looks like a neutron star well, no, it's too big to be a neutron star, but it looks pretty cool. Um, I really like astrophysics in that uh, yeah, space. To me, it's, it's mesmerizing. Construction we should, complete. We should fund NASA way more than we actually do. Uh, yes, please, build me some research stations. Um, just to get some of that stuff going faster. Um, and I want, well, since you're building it already, what's this? Oh, energy required. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's going to be cool. We'll, we'll find a source pretty quickly. Uh, you gain a level. Congrats, buddy. Congrats. Well done. Um, so yeah, it's remember there's a quite a few AIs, so I think um, we're gonna rush colonization. I wanna, I wanna get. That's that's crappy. That's. Situation oh, yeah. um, I think this looks a bit more promising. Yes. This is definitely gonna be our first area of expansion. I I would like that. Uh, 16, that's not bad, because we can get the ocean world as well later System on. survey complete. Okay, buddy, uh, this or that, um, this has got a few planets, that one as well, what about this one, uh, yeah, that's, okay, and then you survey that, and then you survey That because all those aren't and we don't want to solve that one yet. Mm. Oh good, all good. I mean we already know those, so why don't you tell me what's over here? Um go out venture into the wild. Wild wild space. We're losing some credits, but that's fine. Uh give me some Ooh, we don't we're not yeah the plus 11 is pretty decent uh, ship maintenance minus one but hey um, we're using quite a bunch we can get an upgrade here really quickly as soon as that gets uh, we're gonna get two plus one so that's gonna be three up to 14 per month that's an increase of about roughly 20 something percent uh, that's pretty decent do you want to research that or one point so one Ha! Huh. Oh, that's a nice tropical world. And the cars are here. Uh, situation yeah, you know what? Outdated. Go for it. How is our research going? 23 months. It's still two complete. years to go. Um, oh, wait. Ha. Our first stumbling step into the world beyond. Uh, the void beyond Hive would not motivate your curiosity. Our desire to conquer the unknown or need to leave our mark in the galaxy. The biosphere of Hive has undergone rapid change in the past few centuries, and from the science world of Hive may be faced with the beginnings of a mass extinction event. A cyclical purge of life that is inseparable for planetary existence in a greater cosmos. A research plan has been put together to study a number of planets rendered uninhabitable by major astronomical incidents or red or planned band catastrophes. We hope that by constructing these events, a similar fate for maybe may be avoided for Hive and the Soviet race. Nothing, nothing will stop the Soviet race. It falls to you as great leader of the industrial systems to ensure that this situation is carried out. Consult the situation log for details. Situation tonight. log updated. Our people will never be wiped out by cosmos. We are the power of the cosmos. Ooh, Olimar, is this, is this, ah, oh, isn't, is this like a little nod to, um, oh, what's the name of this game? 
you know, where like the, the, the spaceman gets stranded in a planet and he has tons of like little, not minions, but tiny little things that, you know what I'm talking about, um, kind of go and search for pieces Hostile of his spaceship detected. and uh, to build it back up. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? Evading hostile Oops. fleet. Okay, why, what is going on? Why are you evading? Why is there a hostile fleet? Um, is it you? Is it you? Okay, where is the hostile fleet? Why is there a hostile fleet here? I hope, I hope you guys are in, yeah, you, you guys are in transit. You guys are in transit. Um, and ideally, yes, I do want you to, to hi. Um, I want this. Huh? Is it not? Are oh, you kidding me? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I should have seen that better. Um, yeah, that's no, great. Just come here then. But it's nice to know we have that plus three uh, research. Um, research is quite nice, especially the early stages of the game. It can help you get that upper edge. Um, engineering, yeah, hell, why not? You are within our borders, yes you are. So, that's our first target, and then maybe this, and we can put down, uh, what do you call these, uh, frontier outposts around here, and that consolidates a little stretch of space. Long, elongated, um, difficult to defend. Uh, let's see how we go. I really want to grab this before these guys move, because to do, what's their planet, is it? Continental world. So okay, so they're not gonna go for it straight away, but they might do something about it. Um, dun, dun, dun. yeah, a lot of things to stop. going swimmingly. Okay, you guys. You know, this is one of the few games in which I haven't lost uh, my starting fleet really quickly. Uh, the other day I was playing some Stellaris and literally. Um, I sent out my fleet to explore a bit like this, and the first thing they encountered was an enemy 150 fleet just outside of where they came out from hyperspace, and they were like, yeah buddy, like warp or whatever, and they were like, yeah, no, goodbye. And uh, by the time they could retreat, I literally had one damaged corvette that pretty much instantly died after that. Um, so yay. Yay, yay for us to keep our fleet alive. Situation log updated. Uh, cool, so you are going to build me, yes, a research station there. Um, no, I want you here and I'm going to build one of these here. And look at that, that's, that's just literally going to balance and stuff. Um, yes, inference, please. Go on, little Saturn ship. Give me, give me some interesting stuff to know about. Uh, so Olimar, yeah, I'm, I'm certain Olimar is, um, and not to that game. I can't remember the name of it. It came out for Nintendo. It was GameCube back in the days, and it had an expansion. We essentially went looking for the pieces of a spaceship. System survey complete. That died to everything. Kind of dark as a game, but hey. Um, so yeah, Let's see, we'll see. Uh, oh my god, really close. Uh, Chili Planet. Situation log updated. Um, nine months plus fifteen, so that's gonna bring us to nine hundred. Okay, we're gonna stop building stuff now, so we can literally mass spam colony ships as soon as we can build them. And once we get that going, uh, we're gonna take a massive toll on credits. But hey, that's just life. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna build credits. Um. Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This this is one annoying thing about this start is we literally start with no credits. But anyway, um, come back to with us to part two of this um, Stellaris Let's Play to find out if we manage to succeed in space, we get devoured by some capitalistic empire that just wants us dead. Because we are the controversial um, oligarchic Soviets. So thank you very much for watching, uh, if you do like the content please subscribe uh, and like this video, uh, if you would like to see more of it um, just let me know in the comments if you would have any improvements um, into my delivery of the video, also let me know in the comments uh, and thank you very much for watching, see you next time.